Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back because there's pretty much nothing we can do there just for the save room. So let's go back to the other routes. Like, let's say maybe this door. Actually, I don't think you can do anything here. No, you cannot, but you can shoot that. But, well, this is for later. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> So let's continue up, and you are terribly in the way, and you take a lot of hits, and you're pretty annoying. Uh, I don't... No, I can't do anything here either, so let's go further up. At least I don't recall being able to do anything there. Um, What's over here? Can I do anything here? I don't believe so. I think I have to jump down to the other area. Yeah, this is a way back, if I recall correctly. So, yeah. I'm absolutely going to have to jump down to this one-way shoot, because now we can't get out, and whenever you go to a one-way place, you know that means it is a, uh, it's a place that we're gonna soon get a new ability to, you know, climb out of. <laughs> That's just how the games work, and st stop reforming critters. Stop it, stop it now, nah, forget it, I don't need to kill those critters. <laughs> um, I think down here you don't have to do anything at all, but I'm just gonna go down here uh, just for the sake of showing stuff. Oh, ooh, maybe you're gonna give me something good to heal myself with, blue guy. Wow, you are one of the most resilient critters. Oh, you do give me a red one. Wow. <laughs> and let's see what's over here. I think this is just like a preview. Yeah, it is. If because if I try bombing this, it's it's all solid, right? Right, right. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I gotta find another way there. And I do believe the other way there is actually through the. Uh, uh, the door that we have access to over to the right here, but I'm just, you know, checking out the other routes first before I, uh, get a little too far ahead, I guess you could say. Uh, like in case I miss something. I don't think I'm gonna miss anything, but just by going through the store here, um, you know, like upgrades or something that might help me. Ah, uh, save room. That's nice, I suppose. Uh, here's a new kind of enemy type thing. It's a spike top! Well, no, not, not, not really. It's it's called Ouch. O-W-T-C-H. Yeah, it's spelled, obviously it's a play on the word Ouch, you know, pain because they're spiky and whatnot. So look at that nice energy tank to recover, well, she gets some more energy for the upcoming Doom, but it appears we're at a dead end. Or are we? I believe it's something here. Ah, there it is. And there we go! Oh, I mistimed that. <laughs> oh, wait, couldn't I just, like, charge and shoot now to kill us in one shot or something like that? I thought, ow, I mistimed that. Dang you! Just shoot, show your pupil. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're locked in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's another Corex! I hope you can see it because it's flashing, <laughs> and I know flashing isn't good with recordings and whatnot. Well, it turns into this boss named Zazabi, and what it tries to do is it tries to suck you in its jowls, but you gotta shoot at it when its mouth is open like that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what you gotta do, and it's not a very hard boss at all if you know its attack pattern. It, it'll never, like, outright corner you by pushing you into a wall. Uh, it'll always jump over you and try to go for the suckiness. Like, if it it always tries to grab you in its mouth. And if it does get you in its mouth, um, you gotta escape by doing bombs, basically. So, you know, ch change into the bomb, um, or should say ball form, and uh, start bombing the heck out of it, you'll get out of it, you'll be just fine. But uh, chances are, if you follow this, you'll be just fine as well, and probably won't get sucked in at all. Uh, it's getting smaller! It's getting smaller! It's in munchkin donut size. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. It seems like it's trying to suck me in all the time now, every time it jumps. Uh, it indeed is. And there we go! Corex is back! And uh oh oh. I don't know how to avoid this one very well, because it's... I don't have a very good jump, and, oh, I guess this works to an extent. If I wait for it to, like, dip down to the ground and jump over... Yeah, there we go. I guess I can avoid it with a little bit of thought. And now, I get two abilities at once! The high jump and jump ball. So jump ball is like this, you just jump while in ball form, and the high jump is just a higher jump. Uh, can I get this square at the upper right corner of the screen here, on the map? Because that that's gonna 
tweak my OCD. I mean, I know there's nothing up there, but it's still going to tweak my OCD, and I, I don't think I can get it right now. Alright, so, getting out of here, I don't remember if you can go, like, through this way. I don't think so. If I, no, you can. Okay, so let's go up here. And, oh, look at this. It appears that the critters that we're moving around here are now encased in cocoon-like things. That's probably not a good thing. Oh no, but remember that. <laughs> Still not gonna save here because I'm recording and whatnot. Um, let's go back here because there's nothing we can do in the other routes. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> oh uh, uh oh oh! This door. What happened to it? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find our way. In the oh, look at that! We found another way. And uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh dear. Do not make a sound. Uh oh. Okay, we're all right. It didn't see us. We're good. I think. I think it's. I think it's gone. I think it's safe to go. So let's, let's go. Uh, uh, please don't hurt me. Okay, we're good. And look at the, look at this. That they appear to be hatching into some. Something now, like the critters that we've seen, and yeah, what is this? What is this craziness? Anyway, <laughs> now that these are husked over, we can jump even further up now. Yeah, and this is, I believe, the way you're supposed to go, even though this is uh, blocked off right now. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Uh, wait, actually, is there any? No, I don't recall there being any any anything in particular to collect. I believe we're just supposed to use our new abilities to uh, make our way forward here, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just continue on here. I can always go back and get stuff if I miss them. Uh, so yeah, like if I miss anything and remember it later, it's not that big of a deal. There aren't any missables in this game because you can always go back to an area later on. Um, wait, isn't there something like, 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 like? Or is that just to grab onto and just like jump onto? Okay, I guess it's just to jump onto. Alright. <laughs> and now we're back here. Look at that. Craziness. Craziness. Well, kind of. I mean, it's, it's a little bit different, obviously. And I would like to, you know, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I would like to make that jump. See, there's this blue door up here that I can now reach. I should say now open, excuse me. So, uh, let's check this out. And uh, obviously there's something... something a little more to this room than meets the eye. I opened the door and I made it fall, I'm sorry! <laughs> um... What is, what is it that's here that I'm looking for? Oh, it's up there! Okay... This is a secret. Secrets galore, let me... Thank you. I didn't want to go too fast because I'd run into that thing. There we go! It's a missile upgrade! Woo! And now I guess I'll just head on back. To <laughs> go to another area, potentially, maybe? Because we did seem to open the security hatches as we were instructed to, and I don't believe that there are any other... I mean, yeah, there's the, there's the other else, but I don't believe that there's like any other things that we can do here at this moment in time. So, I'm just gonna head on over to said save room with, the, with my new phone abilities that'll allow us to just flop right over there with great ease. Oh wait, that's not the door. <laughs> this is the door, because they're they link all like the recharge, the save rooms, navigation rooms together at the start of an area. And I was about to go in the lower door that yeah. Oh wait, wait, hold on a sec. Can I get the thing that is that dot now? I don't remember if I can. I don't think I can. But I'm just gonna check just to, just to make sure here. Uh, oh no, wait, this is that room. No, I can't. Okay, just wanted to be sure. I just didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, those hives are cargo hives, and if you shoot them, things will come out of them, and they're gonna bug you. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, navigation room. Here we go. Samus, we've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. This SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4, AQUA, I mean AQA, with several thousand X. That's 
terrible. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities, so do not open hatches unless you have to. I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Yeah, that's clear. We're good. Sector 4. Let's go. Dark music of sinisterness. Never a good sign. Never ever. Let's see, sort of. <laughs> the SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have any reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. <laughs> In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. By the way, SAX is obviously abbreviation, uh, abbreviated, you know, Samus's name, plus X, the name of the X. Anyway, the SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. So yeah, it's a pretty powerful critter. Anyway, number four is right here, ne right next to the blue door. Let's go! Next area! And check out the navigation room, because it's just going to be right there. Plus, we're going to get ourselves a map. Isn't that going to be nice? <laughs> so, AQA! Begin! Here's the map! Pretty big! This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the SAX has a high degree of intelligence. I find the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I digress. The sector is home to a very large creature, the, <laughs> the researcher is called Ceres. It is capable of moving and attacking at ultra high speed. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attrib attributable to Ceres. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't be sure of why yet. Ceres has returned often to the breeding tank here. Its natural behavior must be to go back to it periodically. It's a valuable specimen, but you have to be authorized to terminate it. If you don't, it <clears throat> if you don't hit, it may be in. It may invade other sectors! I, I I can't read anymore, I quit. Yes, it's clear. <laughs> While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water, but we can't cut the power. Doing so would affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. Alright, will do. And since I can't read, I think I'm going to end off the part here with saved. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next part when I explore AQA Sector 4.